In this video within our series on simple linear regression, we're going to talk about correlation and provide some examples. So just right off the bat, correlation quantifies the linear relationship between two numeric variables. So if the variables do not have a linear relationship, correlation is generally not uh, a good summary statistic to help you um, define a relationship between two numeric variables. Correlation, as we're going to deal with, it, is specific to linear related, linearly related variables. So just some quick notes before we get to our examples. Often, correlation is denoted by rho. Um, there's bounds on rho. That is some mathematical symbols telling us that rho cannot be less than negative 1, and rho cannot be greater than positive 1. But in fact, rho can be any number in between negative 1 and positive 1. We think of the sign of rho dictating directionality of the relationship. So that is, if rho is negative, then there's a negative relationship between x and y. And if rho is positive, there's a positive relationship between x and y. If rho is approximately equal to 0, then there's no correlation between the variables. So not only does the sign dictate direction of the relationship, but the magnitude of correlation tells us something. So the common way people talk about correlation is kind of broken up into chunks. So we'll say something like if rho is between in absolute value zero and a third, so maybe rho in absolute value is like 0.25, then that implies little correlation, or maybe weak correlation. Yep, OK. Um, on the other hand, if rho in absolute value is somewhere between 0.33 and 0.66, then we say moderate that x and y are moderately correlated, or they have moderate correlation. And the last one I'll give is going to be from 2 thirds to 1 in absolute value. So if rho is something like negative 0.75, then in absolute value, it's somewhere between 0.66 and 1. And in this case, we say strong correlation exists between x and y. Now, the way I've been encouraging us to think about this quantification of the strength of the relationship is by imagining uh, a scatter plot in front of you, and then the simple linear regression line through the data, and then asking the question, how many, like roughly what proportion of observations fall on that line? So what I've done here in R is generated a whole series of plots for various values of rho. And I'll show you the code in a little bit, and I'll even give you the code. I'll post it on Piazza so that you all have it. But what we should focus on is for each new plot, I'm going to post rho as the title of the plot so we can get a good understanding of the corresponding value of rho and what the associated plot looks like. So you can see here there's a bunch of observations from two numeric variables, x and y, laid out on a scatter plot. And I've even plotted the simple linear regression line over the data. And you can see when rho is positive 1, there's a positive relationship between x and y. As x goes up, y goes up. And because there's perfect co positive correlation, all the observations fall on the line. OK, let's consider the next one where rho is equal to 0.9. Notice now that there's some separation 
between the line and all of the points. But for the most point, for the most part, many of the points fall very closely to this uh, simple linear regression line. So this is a made up but reasonable depiction of the correlation equal to 0.9. This next plot is a correlation of positive 0.75. So X and Y are still positively related, but you can see now there's maybe something like 15% fewer of the points fall on the line. So I'm just gonna keep flipping through these plots where the points are going to steadily kind of expand away from the line as rho goes down towards zero. And eventually at rho equal to zero, what we see is the simple linear regression line is essentially flat because there's no relationship between X and Y. As X changes, Y does not change in an obvious linear way. There is zero relationship, zero correlation between X and Y. I've got a bunch of these plots to show off negative numbers, all the same negative values as we had positive values. And I'm just gonna keep flipping through them as we go here, just to give you a sense of what these correlation values look like in terms of a plot. So in fact, I will give you this code. It's a little bit overwhelming at first, but it's not that bad. Some of it you've seen. Load a library. I believe you all should have this library installed. If you don't, it's named MASS, capital, all capital letters. So you can just go to packages and install it yourself if it's not already installed on your machine. Here, I'm creating a vector of values of row. You can see they just match with the values that show up here. You can really specify any values you want, such that they are negative one or above and below positive one. And then in the code, inside this weird thing I haven't shown you with our code yet, we generate some data, put that data into a data frame, and then make a plot. The only thing that's fancy about the plotting here is this little bit that allows us to type out the Greek letter rho and the value rho takes on. But other than that, you can run this code on your own machine. It might take a minute to run. And then you can um, just navigate your way through these various plots to give you a better sense of the values that correlation can take on and the associated plots for those values.